Quite a lot. If um, one of those VTEC telephone telephone toys, and it had like a, a keyboard on the bottom. It just started from there, really. And then, and then my grandma got me a little a little um, toy keyboard when I was maybe five, six, between the ages of four and six. I can't quite remember. And then there was a demo with green sleeves on there, and then that's when I started learning how to play. It's just kind of, it's just once I've had access to those instruments really, because I mean, at home I didn't really, I didn't have, I didn't have those instruments, you know, I just had some keyboard, just a little keyboard, and then there was an organ of my grandparents, and, and um, yeah, I mean, I didn't have access to bass until I was, until I was in my mid-teens really, I mean, I only bought my, I bought my first bass a few years ago, so um, compared to the other instruments, I haven't really I haven't really played bass that long, but I write most of my songs on bass. And just listening to records, really, you know, like realizing that I had like um, a, a trombone, a trombonist friend of mine in secondary school um, clocked out a perfect pitch. I didn't know what that was, and then um, and then he explained to me what it is, and then that he explained how that was giving me the ability to play play instruments and like by ear and just working out songs and stuff. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I didn't really study any of the instruments I played. So that's why I'm. All, that's why I'm kind of uncomfortable when when I'm being called an instrumentalist or even a musician, because I because I know loads of friends that, that spend so much time learning a particular instrument. They're learning every as much as they can about it. They're actually studying the instrument and its etymology. But with me, I, I mean, I guess I mean I just started playing instruments because I, I loved listening to music and I, I guess I wanted to write songs. So it made. I mean, I learned, I learned instruments just to, I don't know, just to express myself really, to help express myself. I mean, artists, like visual artists and you know, musicians, experiences, you know, usual, usual kind of songwriter, kind of um, beacons of inspiration. I mean, in terms of musicians, I, I keep going back to Robert Wyatt from The Soft Machine. And Todd Rundgren, there's so many. Um, Beach Boys, Jay Dilla, Madlib, um, lots of pop stuff actually. Um, been been enjoying Beyonce's music recently. Um, that's just, I mean, uh, Joni Mitchell. I mean, that's just so so much, so much. I just I'm always researching and just trying to find new music as well. It's always it's always old. Regarding collaborations, it just so I mean, with, with all of that, it's not. I'm not really kind of going out, reaching out to people. It's like it could be like I could be in a certain place at a certain time. Like for example, with the um, with the DLC record I did with Richard Russell, Damon Albarn, actress Jimmy Jarrell, Teed, all of those people. Um, I mean, I I've just signed to Warp, and um, Damon's manager had been talking to my head of A and R at Warp, and and. And it was kind of a connect the dot kind of scenario where um, I've just signed. I'd done a remix for, for for Damon like a couple of years before that or prior to that, and then it just seemed like Damon Damon was just really up for me coming along. So really, it's, it's circumstance, and you know, and I could be really feeling someone's work. Someone could be really feeling what I'm doing, and we meet up somewhere. And it's not really me just kind of like dropping people like in the air, like come come work with me and stuff. It's no. It, it never really was like that. You know? um, yeah, it's just right place, right time. I'm, I'm a producer, songwriter first and foremost. I mean, I get way more kind of satisfaction finish, finishing off someone else record, else's record or a band's record or, or helping them realise their vision, you know. I'm really, I'm really into that side of things. I mean, I get. I mean, I enjoy working on my own stuff. But, you know, every now and then it can get a bit, get a bit tiresome at times. Because you, know, you want to get a record right, and I didn't think I'd be like that with my own record. I thought I'd be just really um, not precious about it and just bash it out. But it's it's taken way longer than, than 
I imagined it to. But I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, it's just, it's just a bit more difficult. Playing live hasn't been much of a problem. I mean, I'm, I mean, I've, play, I've done tons of like, I've had tons of like live experience, but not being the front man. But being the front man has been the whole of a kettle of fish, and it's been it's been very difficult because I'm I don't gravitate towards that kind of role. I, I, I very much prefer to just you know, just just be in the background or kind of help help someone else out. You know, but um, as I said, being a front man. Of, of my own music is, is, is building my character a bit. It's, it's built my confidence up a little bit, and I'm still I'm still bricking it every time. You know, every time I'm, I'm about to go on stage, or even a few days before, or weeks before a gig, I'm just like treading plain because I'm just like, oh, I'd probably just be in the studio, you know, but. Funded our trip to um, to South the Southwest last year. It was a it was it was a brilliant like experience. I haven't never been to Texas before, you know. And um, yeah, I mean, just did all the things we would we would have done if we had the money to go to South by Southwest. So it was, I'm really thankful, and the PRS and gave us the opportunity to do that. Just get a lawyer first, and get a manager, and do as much as you can um, without having to spend any money, um, and work with people you want to work with, and um, stay true to, to what you want to do, and don't feel you have to move, move or kind of adjust your, I don't know, your creative kind of bar barometer, you know, just, just, just pick something and then stick to it really, and just really go for it.